Now we're going to make this a Q&A. Steve, one of my uh, viewers in my uh, video, said, Don, could you elaborate a little bit on how to check the IF with a signal generator? Maybe it's worth a complete episode. So uh, let me just walk you back through that, and uh, we'll do a preliminary alignment here to get back to the IF of 455 uh, kilocycles. Let's go ahead and get everything hooked up here to the transformer. Keep a close eye here on the uh, scope itself. And again, we're going to go straight here to what would be my uh, plate itself, which would be the uh, input side of the filter. And then for ground, I'm going to just attach here. We'll attach here for ground. And we'll go right back to the other side of the inductor here. We adjust the uh, amplitude here of the signal. And flip this thing back around. And let's adjust the uh, capacitor right here. And all I want to do is get it close. This will drift and not be exact once we get it back in the chassis due to the uh, capacitance itself. That uh, gives you a good preliminary check when you take one of these apart just to be able to get a good starting point there to make sure your IF is as close as possible to your uh, called out frequency, in this case 455 uh, kilocycles. Alright, let's reverse the leads here. We'll go back over here and we'll make our grid the uh, input or what would have been the grid connection here back to the IF transformer. Go here, readjust the amplitude. And this time we'll jump back up here and you guys can see I've already uh, got this thing very close here to where it should be. It gives you a feel here for how the adjustment itself uh, changes. And there you have it. So Steve, I hope that was helpful. I'll uh, throw up a little hand drawing here at the conclusion of the video so you can see where I made the uh, connections here back to the uh, scope. Thanks for reaching out. I appreciate your uh, question.